What I want us to do, and this is going to be very tricky, I'm not going to pretend it's not, is I want us, I'm going to add another column here. Sorry, another row. Uh, well, you can go below or above, or you could draw a separate table. does not bother me. Now, before we start this, I need to tell you something about this graph. And what I need to tell you... What's his distance data? Zero. Correct? What's his distance after one second? Who thinks it's 10? You? Yep. What do you think it is if you didn't put your hand up? What do you think it is? I think, I think it stays zero because it's zero at the start there. Yep. When it reaches one second, it should be zero, shouldn't it? It's a zero meters a second, and then it goes up to 10. Well, the units for distance is what? Oh. Meters. Oh. And what you're thinking when you gave me 10 was 10 meters per second times 1, because speed times time gives us distance, correct? Yeah. He's not correct, and everyone else in the room had their hand up. So you're not the only one, and no one in the other class got this right okay. this morning. So don't feel bad. That's why it's tricky. Anyone want to give me another value they think it could be? Right. 100? Why 100? It's 10 meters a second. 10 times 10? Yeah. That's, I mean, it has to accelerate, so... What's this 10 represent? Describe what happens at... What's that 10 mean? The step fast is going. At when? At one second. At one second, correct? So his distance is his speed time and his time. But if he started at zero and finished at 10, was his speed always 10? No. no. So when we multiply 10 by 1, what are we assuming? That his speed was 10 the whole way through, correct? No, but the acceleration doesn't work that way. It gradually increases. Correct. So what should we assume his speed is? Average speed for the first second. Well, if it starts at, 10, if it starts at zero and finishes at 10... Five. So we multiply five by one and we get five metres. Cool. So his average speed through the first second was five metres per second. That's not the trickiest part of this. We're going to look at it at the next second now, the 20 and the 10. So what's the average speed that Bob travelled between the first and the second second? Starts at 10, finishes at 20. What's his average speed? 15. 15. 10 plus 20 divided by 2. 30 divided by 2 is 15, correct? So what's his distance? 15. Who thinks 15? Who thinks something else? So we either think nothing or we think 15. Oh, 15, 15, 15. 15 is not correct. Is it 10? It's not 10. Because we're looking at the first and the second second, correct? We also have to consider where he started. So he started five metres away from the plane. So we should add the five onto the 15, correct? So we get to 20. Oh, I've changed paint colour. That's a rookie error. All right, anyone likes it? Just, I'm going to give you, again, we'll, we'll, I'll step you through this one. What's the average speed in the second and third, between the second and third second of the, the drop? His average speed is what? 60. Oh, you're giving me the, the distance, 60. Yep, so but his average speed is what? Starts at 20, finishes at 30. Lockie, what do you think his average speed is? Start at 20, finish at 30. What's 20 plus 30? 50. Divide that by 2? 25. 25. So his average speed is 25. So he travels how far in that second? 25 multiplied by 1 is? So he travelled 25 metres per second for 1 second. 25 plus 20 is? 45. So I'm going to show you a pattern. That goes up 5. That goes up 15, 
That goes up 25. Fill the rest of the table out. Off you go. I probably could have left a, t a column in there unwritten in. That's what I probably should have done. It also would be more gradual, so I wouldn't go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 53. Yeah, yeah. You'd go, you know, 7, 15, or whatever. You'd gradually work your way up. So, what have we got for our speed in the fourth second? Oh, sorry, dis displacement at the end of the fourth second. Yep. Michael? Yep. 80. 80, good man, correct. In the fifth second, what do we think? One, two, five. And finally, in the 60, sorry, in the six second? 180. 180. Very good. Well done. Okay, and we've got 35, 45, 55. Happy with that? Now what we're going to try and do is create a distance time. Create a distance time graph. But actually, before we create a distance time graph, in case you run out of time, because the bell's about to go, can we please calculate the area of triangle one? Area for triangle is what? Area equals? It's a side that's like. Side times side. Half base, base. Half base times height. That's it. Yeah. So our base is 1, our height is 10. 1 times 10 is? 10. Yeah. Okay. Divide by 2. Five. Okay. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Why? Oh, it's like I've seen that number before. What about, let's go, I'm just going to make another random triangle. I'm going to call this triangle, triangle 2. See if we can calculate the area of that triangle. 20. 20. 20. It's like I've seen that number before. I don't know. Oh, wait, wait, I'm going to create a third triangle. I've never seen that number before. Call that one three. It's a number three times 30 is what? Three times 30 is what? 60. Jeez, that meant for math good. Three times three is? 120. <laughs> okay. Three times three is ninety divided by two, and we get to forty-five. So what am I trying to point out here? It all it all relates. All connected. All connected. The Illuminati is real. Yep. I'm trying to point out that. You can either go step by step and work your way through these, or you can find the area between the x-axis and the line, or the area under the line, to find your displacement. So the area under the line, or area under the graph, tells us our, our distance. Now what about if it went negative? So I was doing a velocity time graph and it went negative. Would I add or subtract the distance, displacement? You have to be aware of sign. Okay, so if it's negative, it goes negative. Now, let's look at our displacement time graph, or distance time graph. I keep confusing the two. So distance time graph, what's a good interval to go by here? So we got distance five. Where do we go to? What's our max value? 180? 
increments down each. Yeah. Uneven increments. That's not uneven. Well, not uneven, but um, different. Yeah, very different yeah. increments. Yep, yeah, you're right. And then, oh, can't count though. Now, at one second, what was my displacement? Five, five metres, sir. So I put one about there. At two? Oh, it's 20 metres. At three? 45 metres, sir. So about here. At four? Oh, it's 80 metres, sir. At five? 125 metres, sir. About there. And six? 180. Oh, 187. So when we connect those up with a curved line, <laughs> is that what we'd expect? Yeah, that's how the acceleration works. Okay, good. So 